What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Dub Dated coming back at y'all with another, another video because I'm live and direct. Ha. Uh, 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 um. Glad to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my Patreon folk. First of all, man, you know, I got much love for y'all. Shout out to the YouTube family. You know, I got much love for y'all too. We back in effect. So, let's jump right into it. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about the bad kind of fake work. The kind of stuff that you put on the end of the, pit, the pipe, and when you light it, catches on fire. You don't know what I'm talking about? You gotta know. So let's jump right into that the fake shit. So, since the start of the dope game, people have been trying to come up with ways to get in the game with very little money. Alright, well, people wanted to get in for free, damn near. So, they started coming up with different kind of ways to fool the, the smokers. And, uh, the first time I ever heard about this kind of stuff was back in the day when I was listening to Bone Thugs and Harmony. They would talk about moving that dumb dumb. <laughs> what they would do is they'd get, uh, bread, regular old supermarket ass bread, let it dry up, and put some orange gel on it, and pass it off as a real thing. And, uh, you know, they, they'd pull up on the corner real quick, get rid of everything they had, and burn off. Because as soon as people went home and, and, and tried to hit that, <laughs> they're going to be pissed off. You know what I mean? But people got smarter. People started, you know, uh, well, they didn't have Google back in the day. So I guess they just started experimenting. And eventually, same one come up with the idea of using a uh, ore gel, a baking soda, to create the old duels of heart. <laughs> It's you know, and I'm gonna take that back, ladies and gentlemen. It definitely did not. It looked like it. It numbed your mouth like it, and it made your heart race. And uh, you know, a lot of people didn't know the difference. You know what I mean? Now, when I say a lot of people didn't know the difference, I mean that a lot of people didn't know the difference. Hell, I came across it. I didn't even know the difference. But there are some old school ass dudes who've been around. We've seen it all, done it all, and all that other shit. Who knows what's what. Alright. Now, when I got it, I had just, uh, I was getting back into the game. So, I hit up one of my old plugs. I bought a little $50 flipper pack. You know what I mean? Because I was going to have to make the come up from the very bottom. It wouldn't take long at all, but, you know what I mean? And, uh, he sells me a little bit of work or whatever the case. And he tells me he got some drop. Some clack. Some of that good, good. Says he'll stop by my house a little later on. Leave me a little bit of the work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? He's going to put me on the front. I'm Mr. Help Flip the Brick. So you know what I mean? I was, I was going to move it. A couple hours pass by. After I get home, he shows up. And, uh, you know, I'm expecting just to do the, do the damn deal. The little transaction or whatever. <clears throat> he tells me to get in the car. I'm like, okay, all right. I guess he, he don't want to, you know, do the handoff out here like that. So, uh. Sitting there, and he starts talking to me like I'm his buddy, which I wasn't. You know what I mean? He was the plug. You know, I'm, I, I never really talked to my plug like that. But he starts going down the line, talking about all his misfortunes and mishaps with the woo and this and that. And uh, you know how he was trying to come back up himself, how he got burned and this and that, or whatever the case. And at the time, I thought, okay, well maybe the dude just needs somebody to vent to. Now I look back, and the dude was kind of. Not testing me. Maybe he was testing me, but I think he was more like apologizing ahead of time before he was about to do to me. You know what I mean? So, anyways, he gave me the work. I mean, this stuff looks legit, man. This stuff porcelain hard. You know what I mean? Like a, like a plate. Like you drop that shit on another plate and it go clack. You know what I mean? It's it's super white. I mean, it looks good. <clears throat> I break a little piece off, put it on the tip of the tongue, does what it's supposed to do. I'm like, okay, bet. So I get home, phone the hood. Hey, I got some good in. I'm back in effect. I'm back in the game. Come f with me. You know what I mean? So everybody starts pouring in. And I'm expecting to have a super busy ass night. I'm like, hell yeah. And, and for the most part, it was good. But it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Because... It was uh, Thursday night, and Thursdays were just as good as Fridays for me. And them guys that got paid on Thursday, 
didn't show up like I thought they would. Now other people did, but them old schools that were my number one spenders let me down. Or maybe I let them down. And um, I didn't think nothing of it. I said, well, you know, maybe they didn't get paid like they thought they were and like they normally do. I mean, I wasn't sweating it. I was making my money regardless. All right. But finally, about three or four in the morning, one of them big spenders calls me, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, man, stuff's good, man. Let me uh, let me get another one." I said, "All right." So he comes by and he looks at it. And he's like, "Man," he's like, "You keep getting stuff like this. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna end up spending all my money with you." I'm like, "Oh, bet." So you know that was my confirmation that the work was good. All right. So he goes back home. And uh, apparently he was with another buddy of his. And, uh, you know, they, they call back about 10 minutes later. And the dude was saying that I, that uh, <laughs> the work burned him up. I said, what do you mean the work burned you up? Like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, it, it, it melted too fast? Or, or what do you mean? He's like, no, it, it caught on fire. I said, caught on fire? What are you talking about, man? He said, I don't know, man. He said, something's wrong with it. Put it on the thing and it, 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 it caught on fire. I said, Nah, bro, you tripping, dog. You, you trying to get some shit for free or something? I don't know, bro. I don't know what to tell you. He said, Nah, nah, don't worry about it. I, I already made it right with my homeboy, but you know, I just thought I'd let you know. I blow him off. I'm like, Whatever, bro. I never heard of that. Work catching on fire. Get out of here, man. Tripping. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that, that was that first little red alert. Uh, the next day, one of them big spenders, like I said, you know, one of them, them OG guys comes by and he asked me, hey, do you sell that same stuff? And I'm thinking to myself, oh, hell yeah, bet, bet. He's like, oh, well, uh, damn, man. He's like, uh, well, I'll call you back in a little bit or I'll, I'll come by in a little bit when you get something else. I said, what do you mean? You didn't like it or what? He said, nah, it's all ore gel. I said, what do you mean it's all ore gel? He's like, I don't know, I'm telling you, man, I, I've seen this stuff before, it's, it's, it's Orjo. He's like, that's cool, man, just let me know when you get something else. I'm like, man, bro, you tripping too, dog. You're the second person to say that. Y'all, y'all just don't know good work, you know what I mean? So I call the connect. I tell him, hey, bro, look, everybody's tripping, dog. They're saying this shit's Orjo. They said, said it's not no good. He's like, nah, they're just used to the bunk work. I took that as a shot to me. Like, what the f*** you mean bunk work, bro? But anyways, I was like, ah, yeah, maybe. Maybe so. So I get that little bit of work, go to my homeboy Roger. Now Roger was one of them old schools, man. But Roger also just he didn't have no money for himself. He was always looking for some free shit. He was always looking at whatever the case. You know what I mean? So I took it to Roger. I said, "Hey Roger, try this out. Tell me what you think." They're telling me it's an ore gel. Hit this. Tell, tell me what it is. And I'm watching him. All right. He hits it. Shh. No fire. No bullshit. He's like, yeah, it's work. It's good. It's good. I was like, hell yeah, Roger. You know what you're talking about. Fuck what everybody else says. You know what's what. <sighs> so I'm already running low on the shit. And uh, another one of them old school guys calls me. Asking me to take him a, a little little something, right? And uh, he said the same thing. He said, man, he said, is that stuff nothing more to origin or what? I said, what do you mean, dog? No? I said, why is everybody telling me that? I already had somebody try it out. What y'all talking about? And I'm just saying, man, it's origin. It's that origin shit, man. I said, well, why are you buying more? He said, because I can't find anything else. I said, well, that don't make no goddamn sense. If it's origin, he's like, you want to set it or not? I said, yeah, bro, whatever the fuck. So after he told me that, I was like, man, something's up. So I called the plug. I said, look, bro. Too many people already told me this shit is no good. And he's like, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. He's like, uh, you want some more? No. I said, well, I mean, it went, I guess. <laughs> so I got some more, and I moved it again, and I got the same complaints again. I said, man, I can't do this to my people. So uh, I fired him. I was like, nah, I just I just didn't call him back after that. I paid him what I owed him, and. I went back to one of my old connects. Now, <clears throat> that night, you know what I mean? I, I, I called my old, my old connect, one of my older older connects. Got some regular ass work in. And uh, I was partying, right? I mean, I never messed with the stuff, man. 
but I was I was partying and I had overdone it, man. I was gonna like just fall out. So I needed a I needed a, a little wake up, you know what I mean? I, I don't I never did the stuff really. I mean a couple times I tried it but it wasn't my thing. But I needed a wake up. Sure enough, man, I put that thing on the end of the thing and it caught on fire. <laughs> Looked like a goddamn sparkler. And that was and from that point going forward, that was my telltale sign of that Orgel Boo fake shit. It's gonna catch on fire. I mean, the reason people think it's real is because their heart starts racing, they start sweating, it's numbing them out. But I mean it's Orgel. I, I mean tch. I, me, I, I got a messed up tooth, right? I got a couple messed up teeth, and I got this little orange gel shit here. I put that in my mouth here and there. Sometimes I overdo it, and my heart starts racing. I start sweating. You know what I mean? So I can only imagine what it's like taking that shit to the dome. You know what I mean? But, yeah, guys, y'all watch out for that orange gel stuff. I know some of y'all like, oh, tell me how to make that. No. All right, there's better ways to do it. That's straight burning people. Get out of here. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, make sure y'all check out the Patreon. Support the cause. Check the Cash App link down at the bottom. Y'all know I'll be going through some shit. I'm sorry I ain't posting like I used to. I need to. Trust me, man. I, I, I miss doing this shit. But I, I'm, I'm going through some tough, tough freaking times right now, man. Anyways, man. Dub out. Much love.